Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm waiting for my lessons to arrive. It's going to be an awesome day, and uh, I'm excited. So I thought I would just make a live tennis lesson in case there's anybody out there who's chipper and excited about tennis today and ready to learn some cool stuff. And today what we're going to be going over is where the easy aces are. Wouldn't you like to know where the easy aces are when you play a match? Of course, everybody wants to know where the easy aces are. And plus, I'm going to be making a really cool announcement and I have some important questions for you so you can help me with this big event I'm going to be doing in October called TennisCon, which I'll tell you more about when we finish today's lesson. If you're just arriving, say, hey, give this a thumbs up to let me know that you like when we do live tennis out here on YouTube, and um, let me know where you're from, okay? So tell me who you are and where you're from. You should be able to uh, leave a comment, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get right into today's lesson. It's where the easy aces are, and when I'm playing tennis, I envision, you see the box over there, and we got the hurdles. I envision that there's two types of boxes. There's the deep box and there's the short box. And for the most part, people are trying to power through the serve and hit the ball in the deep box and hit the ball flat like that. Okay, now that's a good serve because we're way off here on the court. But if you're going to hit that, you're actually not going to be getting your opponents off the court. So what I suggest you do is aim for the short box. All right, guys, you want to be serving for the short box. You can see those hurdles. And look, I'm not trying to power the serve. I'm actually trying to graze the ball, right? I'm playing like a game of chicken with the ball, so I'm looking to put a lot of spin on it and hit some easy aces here. I'm trying to, you see how I'm able to hook that ball off the court? Let's take a look at that again. Look at that ball. Now, that ball actually went too deep for me. If I'm here, I'm looking at success every time I hit the serve i got to be able to hit it in front of those hurdles. That one didn't actually go in front of those hurdles. Thanks for the thumbs up. So let me try again. Now, why did that ball go deeper? I felt like I didn't hook my shoulders around enough. I feel like I didn't rotate early enough to get that ball to then go short in the box. Now, that was better. Now, see, if I'm getting that ball short in the box, can you see that if I'm actually able to do something like that? that my opponents are not going to be able to return that serve. That's where the easy aces are when you are serving in the short box. So what you first want to do is come off here, off, off to the side. I know for a lot of you this may not be so exciting because you're like, well, I don't want to serve, you know, baby serves. But this is where you can really get the feeling for how you can get that ball off the court. So what I'm going to do right now is we've got this down and then we're going to move to our next area to where you want to start serving. So I'd start here, and then I'm just going to move the camera here. The next place I'm going to go is I'm going to come over to here and see. Let's see. Can you guys still see who's, who's giving a comment? Jarev Sasha versus Fury playing right now. Very, very cool. Let me move this. Hopefully this isn't making too much noise. But we're going to change the angle. Yeah, what do you guys think of the Labor Cup? Are you guys enjoying the Labor Cup? Rafa and Roger playing yesterday. So anyway, then I'd come here, and now you can see I'm moving towards this court, and I'm still going to try and hit that ball short. And you can see that I can do that from here. Going to go short in the box. That's, that's where the easy aces are. That's where the easy aces are, guys. And then you can see I'm still feeling pretty good there. So now I'm going to move a little more. Hopefully this is not so loud for you guys. If it is, I apologize. I'm going to come here, put my camera down here. So now I'm going to move a little further back and see if I can still hit those easy aces, which is going in front of the orange hurdles. And you can see, now I missed a little wide there. Let me try it again. Okay, that's, that's in there. So I'm doing good back here. So now I'm telling myself I'm ready to go back to the big time. Now I'm ready to come here. Again, hopefully not too loud for you all. And I'm going to come and I'm going to put this down right here. 
Okay. So now I'm back here. And now I'm basically getting in match mode, especially if I'm playing doubles. This is pretty much where I'm going to stand. So now I'm ready for a doubles match. And I see if I can still hit those easy aces. I don't need to power through my opponent. If I can hit that ball in front of the hurdles and make it slice, it's going to go in the fence. And even if it's not an ace, it's going to be very, very hard to return. Lots of people are not going to be able to get their racket on that. So we're going to come here. And, oh, now you see all the spin I have? That was pretty cool. Now let me see if I can, I missed it a little wide because I hooked my shoulders out too early. So that's, so I'm taking information right away. If I miss wide, I'm actually hooking my shoulders too early. They're opening up too early. So now I'm going to tell myself to hold my shoulders longer towards the net post over there. And hopefully that will bring the serve in. So let me, let me try it. I think that was just wide again. And that is, there we go. Now that one went in. So there is the easy ace. Okay, and then if you're going to play singles, if you're going to try singles, now i got to move in just a little more of the court. So now i move a little more. And here we go. So now I'm going to get more where I stand in singles, maybe somewhere over here. I don't want to leave the camera. I may move it even a step or two closer. But now I want to see if I can still hit those easy aces. I'm looking to go in front of the orange hurdle. I can get it in the box. Oh, and that one was nasty. Did you guys see that? So that's the way I practice. And I find that when I do practice on the other side, we start from over there. I find when I do that and come all the way through to the back there, I'm putting more spin than I normally do on my serve. So that is how you can practice to hit easy aces rather than putting so much pressure on yourself to power through your opponents. Thank you. I'm going to try it in my game. Awesome. Well, I'm going to wish you luck. Sure, Kim. Good luck with that. Yeah, so go try that. Now, here is uh, a big announcement I have, and I want to see if I can get any feedback from you all. I am going to do an event in October called Tennis Con, and we're going to do it out at the Newcomb Ranch where there's going to be legends of the game like John Newcomb, Rod Laver, Roy Emerson, Mark Woodford, Rick Leach, the Murphy Jensen, Luke Jensen, Brian Godfrey, Charlie Passarell, Fred Stolle, and there's even some more that I'm not naming right now. So we're going out there, and we're going to kind of be filming. It's a tennis fantasy camp where there's over 100 players there, and they're competing. They're on the legend team. And so we're going to be showing you guys live events going on there during the week. What we're also going to be doing is interviewing the greatest coaches in the world. Uh, we're going to be broadcasting everything from the Newcomb Ranch, but we're going to be uh, interviewing people all over the world, great coaches to help players over 50. So it's targeted to players over 50 improve their game. I'm going to be interviewing Nick Bollettieri on Wednesday. So I'm interviewing Nick Bollettieri on Wednesday, and we're going to talk about mindset and the mindset of a champion. So. What I would like you guys to do is comment below and let me know what should I ask Nick Bollettieri. If I could ask anything to Nick Bollettieri, what should I ask as far as you know, how to develop your mental game, mental toughness, whether it's choking in a third set, you know, getting nervous on your forehand. Thank you. Thank you about uh, the good luck. So what would you want me to ask? What should I ask Nick Bollettieri? That's really what I want uh, you guys to help me with in this video is let me know what should I ask Nick Bollettieri. You could ask Nick anything. If you don't know who Nick Bollettieri is, he's coached Andre Agassi, Boris Becker, Venus Williams, uh, Aaron Crickstein, Maria Sharapova. The list goes on and on. He's coached uh, almost everybody who's a really good player has gone through the Bollettieri Academy at some point. So let me know. What should we ask Nick Bollettieri? I'd really, really like to know that so that I can put it on my list of things to ask Nick. It's going to be more about mindset, mindset, mental stuff, maybe some strategy questions. It is targeted towards players over 50. So if you're struggling with anything in your mental game that you know if you could tighten up, we can ask a living legend, Nick Bollettieri. He's really, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. 
And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. I think uh, pretty soon my lesson will be coming, so I'm going to get ready for that. I appreciate you guys joining me today, and we'll see you on future videos.